What's up everyone? Rachel West here along with Ed and Cena. We're back at Amelie Arena. Honestly, Ed, it feels like we were here not that long ago. It actually does. It seems like it wasn't that long ago when they were hosting the Stanley Cup, but Rachel, where you where you been? I thought that you know you I thought you lost you forgot how to get here. My GPS reminded me this morning, you know. But it's all good. We've been a little busy elsewhere. Other championships are happening too, you know. It is busy in Champa Bay. So. <laughs> um, so we're back for another season. Lightning are taking on the Penguins here tonight. For the most part, it's pretty much the same core as the team that's won the cup the last couple of years, but there are a decent amount of new faces here too. Yeah, I mean, there, there's. it's interesting because, you know, we got used to seeing this exact same group the past couple of years. This year's a little different. Obviously, they lost the entire third line, that Gord line, Yanni Gord, Blake Coleman, Barkley Goodrow. They had to trade Tyler Johnson to get some cap space. Um, some new faces are here. You know, veteran faces like like Corey Perry, who they know very well from you know the past two Stanley Cup runs. He was on the other team the past two years. Um, Pierre Edouard Belmar, uh, who is another guy who has come in here and really fit in really seamlessly with this veteran group. And then a couple rookies. You know, it's been really hard for some of these young players to really crack this lineup in past years because they've been such a veteran group. But now we're going to see guys like Taylor Radish. We're going to see Boris Kachuk, guys who really under the radar put together really good resumes over the past two, three years in Syracuse and kind of learned the lightning system, learned the lightning way. And they too have also just kind of really fit in really well this preseason. So obviously for guys like that, it'll be interesting to see tonight with a lot of stuff going on, the banner raising, you know, opening night, you know, you're playing for the defending Stanley Cup champions against a really good Pittsburgh Penguins team. Uh, what, how those younger guys kind of handle this, you know, really a, a big moment for them. Absolutely, and they are playing the Penguins tonight, who they haven't seen in two years now. And that's how this season's going to be with the full 82 game schedule going back to how it used to be. So what is that going to be like? Yeah, so I think, like, John Cooper just said it, you know, when we were talking to him this morning, is that, you know, like you said, you, we have not seen the Pittsburgh Penguins in a while. But this is really good because it's almost like a measuring stick. And last year it was tough to get those because, you know, you knew how you fared against the Florida Panthers and the Carolina Hurricanes because you saw them so many times in the regular season. But until you got to that, sec that third round of the postseason, that was when you really got and got this measuring stick of, of how you fared against other teams. So now back to that traditional schedule, back to playing every team in the league. And I think the players, the coaching staff, Everyone, I'm sure the fans are too excited about that. You know, one, it's getting back to normal. One, it's 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 getting back to really kind of, you know, kind of this really good team being able to kind of flex its muscle and see how it how really good it is in the regular season against some of the better teams in the league. Exactly, and as you said, the fans are excited about it. Something else the fans are excited about tonight: the banner raising, obviously for the Stanley Cup win last year. I mean, it's probably going to be crazy in here tonight, right? Yeah, I mean, we 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 talk about. You know, we talked earlier about how it felt. It doesn't feel that long ago that we were here on that magical night on July 7th, and and how special that was to be able for them to be able to lift the cup in front of their home crowd, especially after everything that had gone on in the season. You know, opening the season with an empty arena. You know, going on the road. You know, playing again, playing in front of empty in empty arenas. And, and now, you know, again, getting back to normal, but also this celebration of everything that this team has accomplished. And it's almost like over the past, over two years, like because the fans really weren't able to truly enjoy last year's cup run. One, because it was in the bubble, and two, because, you know, everything was, was so weird at the beginning of the season last year. So, you know, I think this will be a really special day for a lot of people. And uh, it's one that I think in the room a lot of people waited for. And obviously the fans have waited for it tonight. I think that, you know, the fans will probably get something to remember this day by when they stand and sit at their seats, you know, today too. So I think that's that's pretty cool too. You gotta kinda wait and see what, what that is. But I, I, I know it because uh we're here at the arena, so we've seen it. A little teaser there. There you go. <laughs> well, it'll be a fun one for sure. Make sure all you guys are following along with our coverage of it all night long, as well as all season long here from Emily Arena. Make sure you're checking us out over on social media at Sports by Tampa Bay Times, as well as TampaBay.com.